We all love a controversy, and well, there is a new one brewing, and some astrophysicists are very unhappy because their go-to pet paradigm is in trouble again. Dark matter, the stuff that allegedly comprises up to 85% of the matter content of galaxies in the universe, has just hit another roadblock. Three physicists claim their observations of empty patches of sky rule out one possible explanation of this strange substance, that it is made out of unusual particles called sterile neutrinos. But others argue the data shows no such thing. So writes Adrian Cho in the online science magazine titled Physicist Brawl Over New Dark Matter Claim. But sterile neutrinos are completely hypothetical. They are supposed to be the new subatomic particles that do not interact with the normal matter, except that they can mix with other three real neutrinos. The idea is that these exotic neutrinos add a lot of otherwise unobservable dark matter to the halo of galaxies. Therefore, that extra matter solves the enigma of why stars move too fast around their galactic centers. It is also alleged that these exotic particles can decay into ordinary real neutrinos. And when they do, they emit an X-ray photon with a characteristic energy of 3.5 kilo electron volts. But a new analysis of old X-ray data of apparently blank regions between stars in the Milky Way galaxy and some nearby galaxies, just published in leading journal Science, refutes the notion that these particles fill the void, both of knowledge concerning dark matter as well as literally the apparently empty space. Other physicists disagree and claim the new results come from cherry-picking the data. But the exact same data was used. One group could see the X-ray emission, but those in the new study could not. So who do we believe? Adrian Cho writes, Alexei Boyarsky, an astroparticle theorist at Leiden University, is unconvinced. I think this paper is wrong, he says. Boyarsky says he and his colleagues performed a similar unpublished analysis in 2018, also using images from XMM Newton, and did see a 3.5 kilo electron volt glow from the empty sky just expected from peering through a halo of sterile neutrinos. If the theory is correct, this faint x-ray glow should be seen everywhere. But now we have specialist physicists brawling over whether they can see it. And the need to see it is indeed very necessary. Without dark matter filling the universe, the Big Bang paradigm and even a lot of astrophysics is in serious trouble. Why? It is not just relevant to the problem of what holds galaxies together, i.e. whether there is a significant deficiency of matter in spiral galaxies, which there is according to standard Newtonian physics. The dark matter problem extends to all scales in the universe, including clusters, superclusters, and the whole universe itself. Dark matter is needed everywhere. Without dark matter, galaxies and stars do not form naturalistically. Hence, dark matter has become the de facto god of the gaps for astrophysics and cosmology. It is the new pagan god, the alleged creator of the universe, but like all false gods, in reality, he just does not exist. Let me end with a quote from one of the new study's authors, Benjamin Safdie. I think that for most of the people in the community, this is the end of the story. Dark matter is not observed, it does not exist. Thanks for watching everyone, and may you all have a blessed day.